<laughs> this is my 63rd year affiliated now with Drum Corps. I started the Cavaliers back in 1948 and was under the Legion in the VFW. And the inspection and the way they operated, I just figured we got to get out of this. We got to be able to be able to control ourselves. We've got to, and I use the term, unionize. We've got to unionize ourselves. But there was one gentleman that uh, was a businessman. And he ran the troopers. I think you know who I mean. So we had been going in competition uh, this particular year against the troopers quite often. And in Dullivan, Wisconsin, both the troopers and the Cavaliers were on their way to New York City. So I had to use the John. And um, while I'm, I'll talk very frankly, while I'm at the urinals, <laughs> in walks Trooper Jones. And I says, Jim, we can't keep this up. We don't get any money. We don't. We we perform for nothing. We have to follow what the VFW and the Legion rules are. I says, why can't we get together and do this ourselves? He says, well, you're right, Tom. We've got the act. So I says, well, why don't we unionize? And he says, good idea. How do you want to handle it? So we talk. I think my phone bill from. Chicago to Wyoming was about two grand that month. I'm not, I'm not sure I remember. So we let it out and we picked the name for ourselves. We called ourselves the Combine. We combined. And the deal was you took all five cores for your show and you paid us so much money for the five, regardless of where we ended up or what it was, you just paid for us, all five cores would be there or none of us would be there. So we come to Indianapolis, Indiana, that's a coincidence. There was now 13 of us interested because the Eastern Corps got a hold of us and um, they joined with us, and we needed a new name. We didn't want to, they didn't want to use our name, and we didn't want to use their name. So the, all right, let's pick out a new name. They put up a blackboard, and somebody says, how about Drum Corps National? So we wrote it on the blackboard, D-C-N. And my hand went up, and somebody said, what about us? <laughs> my Canadian accent. <laughs> and it was one of the Canadian corps. So we says, oh yeah, we can't do that. So we went up to the board, and we erased the N, and put up an I, and at that moment, Drum Corps International was born. <laughs> <laughs>